Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Vareva.com. Today I feel like eating something barbecue. But for today, we are going to have some pan fried lamb with nice barbecue flavor. This week I am going on a vacation but when I come back, I want to start a full fledged barbecue sessions. We are going to do some charcoal barbecue and even the gas grills. For this lamb preparation, these are the small lamb chop kind of things but they are not uh, really awesome or anything but uh, pretty good. So here we are going to marinate them salt, chilli powder, ginger garlic paste using some yogurt and little bit of jaggery also and little bit of oil and mix it in this lamb. You know I kept this lamb overnight in the refrigerator for any barbecue meat if you keep it overnight marinated it will be very easy to cook and it will be very tasty also. In this, here is the paste of a small piece of onion and a small piece of apple. Add a red chilli paste. In this add some soya sauce. Okay, This will have some nice uh, salt in it but anyway the salt is slightly less so I am going to add a little more. And the jaggery I added was also slightly less but anyway I wanted to add sugar. Little bit not too much and now lot of crushed pepper and now mix all of this together now add some tomato ketchup and mix all of this and keep it for at least uh, one hour and then we are going to cook now in a pan the pan should be medium hot not too hot or less just medium hot just add this uh, thin pieces of lamb in this okay. this is, looks good because I already added uh, oil while in the marination and in the so I don't need to add any oil now this should be good I'm going to just let this cook now because this meat is nicely marinated it is going to cook easily so make sure you marinate overnight cook it on one side you see all these juices that was there have now disappeared and it has become more uh, oily that's when you turn it to the other side and look at this I put it at a temperature where it's not going to burn but just going to give it a nice golden brown color. When you cook it on a slow flame you saw that a lot of moisture came but slowly that moisture gets caramelized and will coat to the meat. So just uh, move the meat little bit here and there that will hold that uh, thickening uh, nice uh, juices. Wow! You know that is what will make you know when the juices dry out and they stick to this meat that is what will make this meat very very tasty and also look at the color wow 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 perfect you know this is the color I want my lamb to be wow look at the color oh perfect oh move the meat onto one side and here I have got some figs pineapple and then some sweet potato okay just put it on there and we are going to let them saute in this oil little bit and then we will use them as a garnish and they will taste really good with our uh, you know nice barbecued flavored lamb. Now look at this, look at this, look at this piece you know wow 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 you know I just want to take a bite on it but it is a little bit too hot I am just going to wait for a minute and then wow 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 look at this do I have to tell you? How it tastes? Mm, 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 mm. Just by the bite, you know how tender this meat is. Mm. Nice colors, nice caramelization, nice flavors. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's session of learning the simple lamb with awesome barbecue flavors. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at varava.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you, thank you, thank you.